Hello everyone. Woo! Woo! That's Vinny in the background. Hope you're having a great day. What I'm going to show you is how to season a cast iron pot or pan. It's a lot of, not really, it's not a lot of work. It's just a very tedious pot, but if you keep it good, you'll have it forever. You, you, I don't have any clothes on really right now, so that's why you can't really see my face. But I'll make it simple. So these are new. Um, so what you do is you take like a Brillo pad and you use a little soap and you wash them. Okay. And then after they're washed, you dry them down as good as you can. Then you're going to put them on the stove and let the stove burners burn off the excess water. Okay. So that's what I just did. Now I'm waiting on them to cool down. Then you're going to preheat your oven to 500, 450 to 500 degrees. They said go as high as you can. I follow Tasty. I really like, you know, the way they cook and stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen some of their videos. So go to 500. And then th this isn't my first cast iron pan, but this is the first time I've probably tried to, like, upkeep it where it doesn't, like, rust. <laughs> so I'm just being real. So, um... So yeah, this is what it looks like. These are just water. That's just water that dried up. Once it cools to off a little bit because it's still hot from being on top of the stove, I have the oven preheating and then I'm going to use grapeseed oil. They said to use flaxseed, but I looked online and grapeseed is fine. Or canola oil, but Vinny doesn't like canola oil, so I'm going to um, use grapeseed oil. And I'll show you that process when these cool off. Okay, so the pans finally um, cooled off. Like I went and took a shower and did a bunch of other stuff. It took about 20 minutes to cool off from putting it on the stove top to get the water off. And this is um, what it looks like. Let me see if I can, you guys, oh my God. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. So um, we don't have grapeseed oil, so I'm gonna use macadamia nut oil. A lot of people online have their ideas of what oil you should use. So, um, I've been told flaxseed is the best. So we're gonna order some, but I heard macadamia nut oil is not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hands and I'm gonna rub this all over, like even the back of the pots. And I'll show you that when I'm done. You just rub the whole pot. Don't be afraid to use your hands. I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna do the other side. Please excuse my nails, you guys. I'm doing them myself these days, like the old days. So I'm gonna rub this pot down on the other side. I'm gonna start this rubbing down this pot and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've, I've rubbed um, macadamia nut oil on both pots and it says, so this is what it looks like. These are heavy. Oh my god. I did both sides of both pots. And what it says to do after is wipe it down with a paper towel. And try to get as much oil off that you put on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wipe all this oil off. And then the, the oven has still been preheating. I have it on 500. Um, so just get all that oil off. Not all of it, but most of it is what it said. And then I will show you the next step. <laughs> you can get a good workout in reverse. <laughs> They're heavy as hell. It's, this one alone has to be like 25 pounds. But I promise you, if you season them and you upkeep them, you will have this forever. You will have this pots, for cast irons. For workouts and cooking. <laughs> and I like the way cast irons cook. Like, if you make a steak on a cast iron, oh my god. Or lamb chops. <sighs> okay, I'm going to keep wiping it down, you guys. Okay, bye. Now I'm starting on the circular one. This one. So wipe most of the oil off okay huh. you know I know that this looks like a, a lot of work probably because it you know kind of is 
most of us just go and buy a non-stick pan, call it a day, which I have those. But I like to cook, you guys know that, and I like to cook exotic foods too. And I follow Gordon Ramsay a lot too. Um, he's probably my favorite chef. He uses a lot of cast irons. You want to get it to where it's just almost just non-existent. Now I'm going to rub the other side. Hey, I, I just want to interrupt, interject something real quick. And it's like if, let's see. Go ahead. If we, if we put that, you know, term in, the epidemic, the pandemic, that specific word, shit gets flagged. So, you know, if you're ever doing a time where you It you're, does? Yeah. Trump's doing that's, that That's now? why I heard, it's not Trump, it's like... Whatever. Who else is doing it? I mean, somebody high up, but maybe not the president per se. But Who's people, higher than censoring, the president? Censoring. People are getting censored and shit. So, uh, if you're ever during a time where you put on lockdown, where you put on lockdown, you need something where you can rely on. So, like, this shit lasts forever if you take care of it. You ain't got to run to the store <laughs> or try to run to the store when you can. Trust me, if you guys are ever, like, anywhere, like, if you ever get caught in, like, The Walking Dead or have to live in the woods or anything, he's the one you want to be with. <laughs> because he already knows this stuff before this happened. Because we, we got together before this happened and he was doing things that I thought was just, like, what? But then now, I'm like, damn, he knows so much. Because I, other than when I was in the military, like, a uh, Navy brat in Travel. the Philippines with my mom and a volcano erupted. She probably traveled more than me. When, uh, but <laughs> I'm saying, like, I had my mom. She did everything for us, like, uh, as far as when that volcano erupted. Like, when the roof fell in, she was like, she turned into G.I. Jane, I swear. Like, mm -hmm. for me and my brother, she's fanning big-ass mosquitoes. We're in the jungle. The Philippines is the jungle, you guys. And we had to wait to get out of there. And she made sure we were fine. Um, she didn't sleep, you know, whatever. But what I will say, Vinny is the one. I'm all right. <laughs> he this studies guy's way better than me, though. <laughs> he studies a lot of podcasts. He listens to podcasts probably like two to three times a day. And they're like informational podcasts. And me, I like to sing, write music, or um, watch some keep stupid show. Keep the laughs show. going. <laughs> yeah, keep the laughs going. Keep him laughing. Yeah. I, I'm loving the Real Housewives of Atlanta right now. Are they like doing some new shit they're filming during this? So they were already in filming, but then they did a virtual reunion and Bravo just made it happen. That if you guys watch smart. Exactly. And they filmed all other, of their other, houses. Other motherfucking networks can learn from that shit. Know what I'm saying? The shade. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny's been learning how to pick up some shady boots being with me. But uh let me wipe this down and then I'll show you the next step you guys. Wipe okay? me down. What, what? <laughs> This pot is heavy as hell. This one might be heavier than the other one. Like, God, leave. Oh, the one I just got? Yeah, that should look thick. <laughs> this one's got to be at least 30 pounds. Yeah, that should look thick. Yes. Okay, so it's almost to the... Okay. Oh, God. Hold on. God, Here's Vinny. <laughs> Vinny bothering me while I'm doing something for us as... Um, I'm thinking about creating an ah. enhancement. It was like a little mastermind meeting. <laughs> all right, so so now these are all wiped down. Okay, they still have a, just a thin layer of oil on them, as you can see. Okay, so is this one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put them in the oven upside down, and we're gonna leave them in there for an hour. So you just open up your oven. Oh, this thing is hot. I'm gonna get some oven mints, put it in, but you're gonna put it in upside down, like that, both of them, for an hour on 450 to 500 for an hour, and then you pull it out and you have your seasoned cast iron. I will show you the ending result when it's done, okay? Woo! Woo! So this is how they're in the oven upside down, and they will be in here for an hour. It's so smoky in here, you guys. This thing is going off. Shut up. <laughs> Damn it. What in the hell? I'm just following the angry. 
the instructions. Damn. I don't know. I checked it. The stove's not on fire. It does kind of getting a little smoky in here, though. I'm a little worried because it says it needs an hour and it's only been in there 20 minutes. Damn it. Oh. Again? Come on. Shut up. Is it? Am I burning the house down? I don't think so. That would suck. My birthday is tomorrow too. May 15th. That'd really suck. I'm just trying to season the cast iron. The way the internet told me. Got. Don't use the Lord's name in vain. And I just got like this pillow. Just be quiet. Let me open the front door. Damn it. Just let me season my cast iron pot, you damn thing. Shit. And I'm like assaulting myself at the same time. This thing is hitting me. Shit. So now I'm going to take these out of the stove and see what they look like. And they look amazing. That is how you season your cast iron. Now it's ready for cooking. And you do that pretty much every time you're trying to clean it, from what I'm told. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this, you guys. Cast irons are amazing. You can cook vegetables in them, um, steaks, meat. Um, you can make uh, desserts. Um, so yeah, and they last you forever if you up keep the upkeep. And I know that it seems very like a lot, which it can be a little bit, but just you know, get you some good oil, clean them, bake them for an hour. You're good.